survived oppression and racism during one of the darkest chapters in American history, but spent close to a century dedicating her life to helping society's most downtrodden communities. Our first finalist for Remarkable Women is proof that you're never too old to inspire and make a difference in this world. At 95 years old, Gloria Parker lives a quiet life. And this is, oh, this is of the state of California. Yeah. Surrounded by pictures of family and memories of a life well lived. Most days, though, her fingers are busy typing letter after letter to congressmen, pharmaceutical companies, and tech giants trying to make changes for the better. And as she works to fix our future, our nation's dark past is practically ingrained in Gloria's DNA. She is the direct descendant of a slave and grew up during a time of terrible oppression toward black people. I grew up under Jim Crow. Um, I was born in 1929 uh, and Jim Crow was very bad. We went to separate schools. We couldn't ride the bus. We were very poor. We didn't have a hospital, but they did have a colored ward. When I was in the hospital, and they put a body cast on me, which meant that I had to have constant attention. I mean, when it was time to eat, the nurses had to feed me, but they never came to the black section until all they had served all the other patients. And by the time they reached us, the food was cold. The cruelty of racism in the Deep South would inspire Gloria to become an accomplished author and poet of books like Hidden Truths. It also ignited her passion to help veterans, seniors, and those in the poor black community find employment. No one should be homeless, but seniors and veterans, how dare society let them be homeless? Even after going back to school at 48 years old to get a degree and complete a master's program, Gloria faced similar hardships, all because of her age and race, until she was hired as an employment specialist here in Sacramento and became a superstar, earning accolades, setting the standard for senior programs, and being awarded her first grant by the American Veterans Society of Northern California. To me, it's, it was unbelievable. But the work is not done yet for Miss Gloria. I am sending a letter to California's congressman. She's now on a quest to find solutions for her fellow seniors, who she says are struggling with tiny perplexing instructions on powerful prescription drugs and are also left to navigate an increasingly complex digital world. When they say do a screenshot, when they say several things that you have to do now on the computer. Most people of my generation have no idea what they're talking about. This is my crusade now, to get someone to do something about computer literacy for seniors. And that makes Gloria a truly remarkable woman. When you work and do these things, you don't even think about getting rewards for it. You know, is this something you know you have to do? Gloria is an amazing person, and you can find another one of her novels called A Seat at the Table at the Sacramento Public Library, and Hidden Truths is available on Amazon. I have it myself. She also is writing her latest book on senior advocacy called The Forgotten Generation. Join us through the month of March as we profile all of our Remarkable Women finalists from Northern California as they fight for the, ne uh, the Next Star National Remarkable Women honor. They will be featured each Tuesday at 8 and 11 a.m., as well as in the Fox 40 evening broadcast and tune in on April 2nd at 1130 a.m. We are gathering all the finalists for our Remarkable Women local award ceremony and then we will name our local winner. Awesome. 820